and it was just a shocking, you know, it was a shock to the, because nobody called that shot, you know. I, you know, from that moment on in big matches, including a couple of my own, you know, you're almost like Babe Ruth calling your, you know, the fabled Babe Ruth calling a shot. Uh, fans have come to expect some big surprises, but nobody saw that coming. And so I had this, like a minute really to just appreciate what we had done and the shock of the crowd and the feeling that the match was over, but that nobody, nobody was thinking, well, they, you know, they didn't give us our money's worth because they only went, you know, um, 48 seconds. Uh, and I, th you know, and I had no idea that JR had made this legendary call. Right. Uh, uh, that added so greatly to it, you know, by God, he's been broken in half, you know, that it's, you know, it's become such a part of popular culture. But while I lay under that debris, I was wondering, okay, will I, I, I told Undertaker and, and Vince, if I can, I'm going to roll off. I didn't know how I'd be, but I, I told him if I'm able to, I'm going to roll off the gurney and, and climb uh, that structure a second time. And while I'm under there, I'm thinking, I think I think I can do it. And so it's this, yeah, it's this really unique situation where I'm able to appreciate <laughs> what we did, even while it's taking place.